In today's video, I'm going to be going through the top 10 Assault Rifles that are dominating Rebirth right now. Everyone is using them, and if you can't beat them, you're going to have to join them. Alright, the first weapon in the video is going to be the Cooper Carbine. This thing has next to no recoil. It is insane. Okay, so the first attachment you guys are going to want to use is the MX Silencer, increasing the accuracy and the range. Then the Cooper Custom Barrel pretty much does the same thing, and it increases the fire rate. Any optic of your choice, you can use anything you want, but I like to use a 2.5 times optic. 45W stock is a great stock, and then hand stop under barrel is going to increase the accuracy even more. The 6 round drum is also going to increase the accuracy and the fire rate and the ADS, which is great. Lengthened ammo type, polymer rear grip for the flinch resistance, which is actually really important. And then tight grip and fully loaded. This class is honestly a laser beam. That is default loadout, let's get straight into the next weapon. Next weapon in this video is going to be the XM4. This is by far one of my favourite assault rifles in the game right now. It has a very good time to kill, very nice accuracy as well. So this class is a little bit more simple, only 5 attachments, which is what I like to see. I much prefer the 5 attachment weapons, let me know what you guys think. Uh, but yeah, we have the Agency Suppressor increasing the accuracy and the range. And then the Task Force Barrel also increasing the accuracy and range. The field agent grip is going to increase the accuracy, horizontal recoil control and the vertical recoil control. 6 round magazine and the axle 3 times. That is the full loadout. The next weapon in the video is going to be the STG. This is a very good assault rifle. Now before I get into the loadout, I would like to ask you guys to drop a like and also subscribe with notifications on if you like to see more content like this. But let's get into the class. So we have the MX silencer increasing the accuracy and the range as always. And then the 760mm barrel increasing the accuracy and the range again. For the optic, whatever you want is fine. My favourite is the 2.5 times, and then we're going to be using the weighted stock. The weighted stock is going to do quite a lot for the accuracy, the flint resistance, the recoil control, the aiming stability. It makes it nice and accurate, nice and steady. Then we have the hand stop under barrel for the accuracy again. 50 round magazine for the accuracy and fire rate. Lengthened ammo type as per usual on pretty much every Vanguard weapon. Uh, the polymer grip again. And then we have slight up hand and fully loaded. That is the full loadout. Let's get straight into the next one. Alright, so next up we have the Cold War AK. This is by far one of my favourite assault rifles in the game right now. Very, very powerful. It does have a bit of recoil though, so let's get straight into the class. First attachment is going to be the Groove Suppressor, increasing the accuracy and the range, and then the RPK barrel doing pretty much the exact same. Axle 3 times scope with the 45 round magazine and the Spetness Grip. Make sure you do use the 45. I always say this in my videos, but make sure you always use... The 45 and not the 60 on the AK-47, otherwise your ADS is going to be super slow. So make sure to use this for a fast ADS. Next up, another Cold War Assault Rifle, we have the Farah 83. I think this is really underrated, to be honest with you. It's actually a really good assault rifle. So we have the Gru Suppressor, increasing the accuracy and the range, and then the RPK Barrel, increasing the accuracy and range. Surprise, surprise. Pretty much all of these Cold War Assault Rifles are built the same. Spetness grip for the accuracy, 6 round magazine, and then the axle 3 times. Once again, if you want fast ADS and a faster reload, use the 45, but I like to use the 60 on this. The, the ADS is a little bit slow, and the reload is a little bit slow, but other than that, it's good. Alright, next up, a really, really good weapon. I haven't included this in a video in a while, but I've been using this lately, and this specific class literally has no recoil. It is insane. Try it out yourself. So we have the MX Silencer increasing the accuracy. Then we're going to be going for the XL Barrel increasing the accuracy again. Uh, any optic of your choice, I'm just going to stick on the 25 times optic. Chariot Stock increasing the accuracy again. Hand Stop Under Barrel and then the 30 round magazine. But this is the secret to making this thing have really low recoil. Use this magazine. It still has a really quick time to kill even though these bullets are a little bit weaker but the accuracy is insane and it increases the movement speed and the ADS which is great because the BAR is a little bit slow. Lengthened ammo type, polymer grip and then hard scope and fully loaded just like usual. Let's get straight into the next loadout. The next weapon in this video is going to be the automaton. This thing is very good at the moment. A lot of people are using this but I don't really see too many people using it. Like I feel like it should be used more than what it is being used, but let's get into the class. Alright, so the attachments are the MX Silencer again. Pretty much want to use the MX Silencer on every single Vanguard Assault Rifle for long range because it increases the accuracy and the range. Then we're going to be using the Anastasia Barrel for the accuracy and range. 25 times Optic, the Padded Stock, Hand Stop Under Barrel, 
75 round magazine lengthened and then we're going to be going for the polymer grip as usual tight grip and fully loaded now you guys are probably noticing a little bit of a repetitive you know on a lot of these weapons a lot of the attachments are the same like for the example uh, fully loaded polymer grip lengthened hand stop under barrel and the mx silencer that they're, they're all pretty much the same attachments for most of these weapons the next weapon is going to be the Vargo. This is a really, really good assault rifle at the moment. I really recommend you guys giving it a go. So we have the Gru Suppressor, Accuracy and Range, Accuracy and Range, Accuracy, Ammo, and then the Axle three times. Once again, a lot of these attachments are very similar, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. But this is a really, really good weapon. It's still really good, and it's been around for so long, and I like to see it. It's the only Modern Warfare weapon that's still surviving. Okay, so Monolithic Suppressor, Archangel Barrel. Commando foregrip, 6 round magazine, and then EVA, the TAC laser, for increased ADS and a little bit more accuracy. Or we can have the VLK 3x optic for those longer range gunfights. I like to use the TAC laser, but a lot of people use the VLK, it's up to you. Okay, the final weapon in this video is going to be the C5-8. Really, really good at the moment. Really, really powerful. A little bit of recoil, but it does hit like a truck. C suppressor, task force barrel, axle 3 times. 55 round magazine and the field agent grip if you want more ADS you can stick on the 45 just like all the other Cold War assault rifles but that is the full loadout and that is the end of the video once again if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe turn those notifications on and also drop a like I'd really appreciate it thanks for watching peace out